What's good, gentlemen and ladies? Um, I played a lot of Gears of War 3 last night, and I got a whole lot of gameplays, but I really didn't know which one to bring y'all first, so I figured I'd bring y'all the most competitive game that I played last night first. And um, this is long gameplay. It's over 27 minutes, so I don't expect all of you all to stay the whole time. So, uh... I'm gonna do a little friendly reminder. Uh, remember to rate the video. I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say that first because, like I said, it's the it's a pretty long gameplay. And uh, I might start saying that at the beginning because I know a lot of people don't watch the entire video. Whenever they get on YouTube, they only watch a few minutes of it. So, uh, if you don't mind, would you uh, please take a couple seconds and rate the video? It really does help a lot. I've noticed that the more ratings my video get. The more people that watch them and the more people that subscribe and so on and so forth, you know. So, yeah, the ratings really do help because when you rate it high, your video actually gets put um, on, like, whatever they're searching. The highest rated videos get on that first page. So, not the first page of YouTube, but on that first page of that search. So, it really does help. But anyway, um, we played this game and this is the most competitive King of the Hill game that I've played, played so far. And, uh... I'm thinking this is the first time that we I've lost a round of King of the Hill and ranked on this game. So, uh, like I said, it was a pretty competitive match. Uh, a lot of retro lancer, a lot of sawed off, but you know it is what it is. And uh, speaking of the sawed off, you know I played with it a lot last night, and I played with the regular shotgun, and I did better when I uh, had the regular shotgun, the Nasher, because. You know, a lot of times I forget I had the sawed off, so I try to get in a shotgun fight, and then I shoot, and I'm like, oh, shit, I got the sawed off. So, you know, so uh, I just switched back to my Nasher, and whenever I see a team using uh, sawed off and uh, retro, I just use hammer burst. Or I use the retro lance. I have a gameplay for y'all that I put out, I don't know when, it'll be late on, that we played against this team. That's when I was playing with this 4 a kid. I played with him for the first time last night. Uh, we had fun, man, and uh, he he a, he a beast too. We had a lot of fun. It was me, Thiz, Val, uh, Crucial. It was just us four for the most part. We had a fifth sometimes, but we were just playing with four. It really didn't matter. But uh, Val was doing some stupid sick shit with the sniper man last night. I mean, he was popping heads left and right, left and right. But uh. Anyway, man, I got a gameplay using the Retro Lancer, and it's so cheap. So, uh, I was thinking, I was like, you know, saw it off, I'm still 50-50 on. I still wouldn't mind if they made it a power weapon, but, you know, it ain't as good as I thought it was. At least I'm not, not in my hands, but, uh, because you really do have to get really close to somebody in order to kill them with it. But, it, yes, it does take no skill to use. I mean, all you have to do is point and shoot, but you do have to get pretty close, so. I don't know, I'm still 50-50, 60-40 on it, but the Retro Lancer is a joke, and I use the Retro Lancer, you'll see the match, uh, I was just, I said, you know, I got killed with it, and I said, I'm going to try using it again, because I tried it a while ago, and I tried using it, and uh, I couldn't use it, I wasn't good with it at all, so I said I was going to try to use it again, and once I tried to use it again, man, I was playing that match and I was just dominating. Laugh, I was laughing the whole time, man. You can ask anybody I was playing with. I was like, really? That's the. Ch I think that's the cheap one of the cheapest guns I've ever used in any shooter. That gun is just a joke. Like I said, with that gun in the game, uh, you really don't have to use the national. I was using the retro and the national, or the retro and the sawed off, just being a scumbag. I think that might have been retro and sawed off. And I, um, I may have used my sawed off one or two times. You don't have to use the sawed off after the retro lance because, uh, one, everybody's using it. So you never run out of ammo. I mean, you can just pick up ammo from the on ground. And it's funny how people use it, too. I mean, you can tell people, it's a lot of dudes that use it, it's just so bad. They just sit back, retro lance, retro lance, and they try their best to die. But me, I just run away. I just go tend to other business. When I see somebody playing like that, I don't even chase them. Uh, don't chase anybody on this game. I try to keep the gunfights on my turn. Whenever you start chasing people, whenever I start chasing people, that's when I start dying. But uh, it's a few things on this game that I have to get used to. I got to stop going on my three or four death streak on this game. 
Uh, it just happens sometimes. You run into people with the, with the retro lancer, or you get sawed off, or something stupid happens. But you know, um, so I gotta start avoiding that three or four death streak. And uh, yeah, but got a lot of good gameplay to bring y'all. We were playing against a team last night that was so mad. They were so mad. They were, they were all the whole team was retro lancer sawed off. The whole team was trying to do that. And we all were keeping them at a distance. And after the match, they were salty as hell. They were mad. Oh, y'all really good with your lances. And they had the nerve to talk trash when they're trying to use retro lances salt off. I mean, uh, some people have just no common sense, I guess. Using the cheesiest, two cheesiest weapons in the game, but you have the nerve to talk trash to people that are not going to let you get close enough to use them. They're going to dominate you from a distance. Like I said, that shit doesn't help. Uh, help. It doesn't help you when you run the people that actually know what they're doing. We put constantly played against people last night, and they were constantly going five and twenty, six and twenty-eight, shit like that, trying to use that setup. Maybe if you learn how to play the game and stop trying to cheese it out, you'll actually be good enough. You'll actually get good at the game. But you know, as long as they keep those two guns in the game like they are, uh, people won't get good. People will try to use that, and then when they run on, uh, run into team that actually knows how to play that's been playing this game for years and once they see get a gist of what you're doing that shit ain't gonna work so and then you can't switch it up but well, we can switch it up we can go to different levels we can do different things we can use different tactics but you only have one tactic of effectiveness and once you, you get that element taken away from you you're a completely different player you're a scrub so yeah the retro sawed off like I said in the video it won't save you should really try picking up a Lancer or Hammerverse and a Nash and get good at the game and then see how easy the retro and sawed off is you but like I said you'll see that gameplay when I put the retro up I got a few gameplays I'm gonna put up I'm gonna put some up that I didn't do too well in uh I know one game I did okay and I, I started the game like eight and one nine and one I think I ended it like 15 and seven something like that like I said I went on one of my normal death streaks and uh I was Shit, we, that's the first game I think I played with this for a kid. This is my first time playing with him last night. And uh, he, had, he had like 20 kills after the first round. He went bananas. But the, the next game, I'm going to put that one up too. Uh, I was on the top of the leaderboard that game. Uh, he finished like 20 points under me. So, you know, I, I told him I can't let you stay up there all the time. God damn. But uh, like I said, that game, Gears 3 is, I mean, the net code is perfect. I didn't lag at all last night. And had zero lag last night. I love the net code. Still don't like the wall bounce. And um, it seems like whenever you bounce, you lag or whatnot. Or not, I won't say lag, but something happens. And um, I'm pressing A when I'm rotor running. It won't let me run sometimes. I'm just constantly jamming my A button. It's pressing and pressing and pressing. It. But nothing seems to be happening. So, uh, yeah. I mean, the movement is back still. I mean, the movement is stiff, man. I don't know why they made the movement stiff. They spared the shotgun and the strafe up, but they made the movement like the bouncing and the, uh, the rotor running. It's stiff like it was in Gears 1, but whatever. Uh, I'll get used to it. Just something you have to adjust to. But uh, I'm not I'm sure I'm not going to commentate this whole 27-minute video, but... What else I want to talk about right quick before I get out of here? Uh, I want to have a oh yeah, I want to have an execution tournament whenever the Gears 3 beta is over with. But I also want to get to my hundred rank, and I want to get to uh, Series of 2.0 my Louisiana Kid account. But I'm not sure that I want to play Gears of War 2 after this beta because, like I said, I really I'm not excited to go back to all that lag and whatnot. But uh. We'll see, we'll see. Whenever that whenever we cross that bridge, we'll see what happens when we get there, but Oh man, uh Gears three, like I said last night I played my longest session that I played. I played for like a little over four hours, I think. Maybe five. I haven't played that game that long. I usually get frustrated with that game after like three or four games and I turn it off because you know, like I said, majority of my deaths are from weapons that don't take any skill to use I guarantee I, I would say that 
85, 90 percent of my deaths come from retro lamps on the sawed off, and uh, you know that can get frustrating because you know you don't when you ever you die, you don't feel like you're being outplayed. That's that's the lot. Of, that's a lot of the problem that people have with uh, black ops. They feel like you know they never feel like they outplayed is due with lag or bad hit detection. And people, you know, I don't mind dying when somebody just outplay me. You know, I won't complain about that. But when I feel like somebody just hip fired me down with a retro lancer or, or come and one shot me with a sawed off shotgun that has the spread of the entire screen, you know, if they reduce the spread of that gun, it'll be okay, you know. But the fact of the matter is, all you got to do is point and shoot. And that's what gets you frustrated. And, and it seems to me that some people have more range with that gun than I do because. Oh, I think, you know what I think it is? I think active reloads give you a little bit more range. But that's one thing I wish they'd take away, you know, the ability of that gun to down you. Either it's an instant give or it's a miss. You know, I don't like the fact that somebody can one shot down you with that gun. I mean, that, that's a bit ridiculous, but it is what it is. And they're not going to change anything, I doubt it. They may nerf a little bit or something. They may nerf the retro a little bit. They may nerf the blind fire. I mean, the... Uh, the uh, double barrel shotgun, they might nerf it a little bit, but as far as them making it a power weapon, I doubt they'll change that because the creator of the game, he put it in there. Like you said, he wanted newer players to be able to play the game, and he's a scrub himself, so you know, uh, I guess he want to be more successful at the game, too. So, hey. He put weapons in that help out the, the, ca uh, the casual player, the casual player, or the new player, but you know, it still won't save you at the end of the day whenever you run into people that actually know how to play the game. And not to mention, I don't think that Gears 3 will have the lifespan that Gears 1 and Gears 2 will have just because people are going to get extremely frustrated with dying because of that bullshit. So, I don't know. I don't know how Gears 3 is going to I don't know how long it's going to last. I think it's going to sell. I think it's going to sell a whole lot of copies, you know. But as far as staying on Xbox Live with the lifespan that Gears 2 or Gears 1 has, uh, I don't think it's going to do it. I don't think it's going to happen, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, There's only one map that I really don't enjoy on the beta, and that's Trenches. I mean, because, you know, you just can't see. And speaking of can't see, man, those smoking days, the smoke lasts way too long. That's another thing that gets me killed, like, Whenever people are constantly throwing smokes, hey, it's a good 20 seconds before you can see anything. And, uh, you know, I think they need to fix that. Five seconds is the mo at most. Five seconds is enough for you to get something done. But to leave that smoke on the screen that long, I mean, it's kind of crazy. They went overboard with it. But like I said, w once everybody get their suggestions in, they're going to look at different things. They're going to patch different things. So I'm looking forward to because Epic always patches. That's, Epic always looks at stuff, you know. And this game will be out the, coming out the box better than Gears 2 by far. And that's what I, I was arguing with these this idiot on my on my page about uh, MLG and why Gears 2 got kicked out of MLG. Of course I know why they got kicked out of MLG. I watched it because of Ragdoll and because of how slow the game played. But what I was trying to say and what I thought I wrote is, if they'd have chose a different game type for Gears 2, yes, you can use Execution for Gears 1, because it's just Gears 1, all, it's, all it had was Execution Warzone and Assassination. Not to mention there was no frag tagging, there was no uh, ragdoll smoke grenade effect. So yeah, you can use the gameplay fast, the, uh, it was fast paced. And so you can use Execution. And not to mention, well, anyway, it was fast paced. But on Gears 2, the game didn't play fast. The game wasn't fast paced. You know why? Because of frag tagging and because of smoke tagging and because of ragdoll and all that stupidity. So they couldn't use that, but it would have helped out more if they'd have used King of the Hill instead because King of the Hill was uh, a more fast paced game. It was better to watch. And they want to, and you know, people want to argue tactics and all this bullshit. It, like tactics. Tactics isn't a skill. Tactics is just that. It's a fucking tactic. It's a strategy. Like I said, the best teams. Uh, are not use are not the best players here. Yeah, they just have the best strategies. We spank good teams, good GB teams and shit. Uh, like I said in the comment section, in GB we spanked Hollywood Angels, made them disband. 
they, they weren't the best player. They just had good strategies. They finished second in the summer of 2009 because of strategies. Hell, a lot of that shit has nothing to do with uh with with gun skill, gun on gun. Hell, like I said, I had some of the best players in the world on my GB team that I ever seen. Berserker, one of the best players I ever seen play. Gears of War two, Justin, one of the best players I ever seen play. We just hadn't, we didn't have the experience that other teams had. We didn't have execute strategies. We just went to GB here. We play Annex. I didn't like uh, execution, so uh, but we still beat a lot of good teams, and we still won a. I think at one time we won over 20 matches in a row in GB, because we were at the end of the day, a lot of the team we were just better one v one players than uh than those teams. Yeah, they might have had better strategies than us that that cost us at the end of the day in some of the matches. Yeah, some of the matches in GB we shouldn't have lost. We were we were clearly were better players, but you know, strats a uh, good strategy will uh, neutralize that because you know they know what to do, they know what to set up it. So. And I, but I don't think that's skill. I think a strategy is just that, a strategy. But anyway. Anyway, man, I've been rambling on on this commentary uh, long enough. Uh, I'll let y'all enjoy the rest of this match. But uh, once again, I'll remind y'all, leave a rating, whatever you think it deserves. And be looking forward to a lot of gameplay. I got a lot of gameplay. And I'm probably going to jump on Gears of War 3 because I think they released Capture the Leader today and I need to unlock Bear. And I also need to unlock the uh, Retail Gold Retro Lancer. So, yeah. I'll be getting on that today, and uh, I'll get it to y'all in the next commentary. Uh, once again, I know this may be a little obnoxious, but don't forget to leave a rating. And uh, let's try to get the 50 rating, man. I don't think I've had a video to get the 50 rating yet. So, see if y'all can give me the 50 rating. And, uh, yeah, but anyway, man, I'm going to get it to y'all in the next one. Peace, I'm out.
and execution with the emphasis on execution well done <laughs> right Yeah, Retro Lancer is way too easy.